Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a fence in Revit. So yesterday, I did a video on new features in Revit 2019, and that kind of reminded me of a new feature from Revit 2018, and that's the ability to host railing on your topo surface. And this basically allows you to create a fence in a form of a railing. And of course, you need to have a fence so your goats don't escape. That's quite obvious. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a fence family that you're basically going to load in as railing and then you're going to be able to place that on a topo surface. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, you, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit. This is Revit 2019. And if you're interested in all the new features and how to download it, the links to those two videos are in the description. So I'm going to use the architectural template for this. And first, I'm just going to set the units to meters just to make everything a bit easier on me. Okay, so that's set up. And now let's go into the site plan and let's create a topo surface over here to host our fence. So I'm just going to go to massing and site and select topo surface and for elevation let's place two points at level zero then let's use number one like this then let's go with two meters maybe here then let's do three meters and let's do then just five over here like so. Okay so we have some topo surface over here and let's just hit finish so this looks like that basically and one of the new features of Revit 2019 which I forgot to mention in yesterday's video for some reason I don't know how this escaped me but anyway you can see your floor plans in a 3d view which is quite cool and you can turn them on and off and you can even go into the floor plan through this okay so let's go back into the 3d view and let's just create a fence over here or just a railing that we're going to host on this and then later we're going to be turning it into a fence so I'm just going to go to the site plan go architecture here we have railing so select railing and then let's just kinda create railing like this so we have our nice little goat fence and let's just hit finish, go into 3D. So as you can see now it's hosted on a level 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, go pick new host and select this topo surface. And now as you can see it's kind of attached to the topo surface which is quite cool. And I'm just going to switch it over to this pipe style fence. I just find this one a bit easier to modify into a fence. And to turn this railing into a fence, we need to create a couple of more families that we're going to be loading in the project. We need one family for the baluster because it will be a new fence baluster. And we also need new handrails or this railing over here. Uh, this is circular, but we kind of need rectangular because it would be, I want it to be a wooden fence because of course it's a wooden fence. So. I'm just going to go here to File, New, open up this drop menu and choose Family. So this is now Imperial Family, so I'm just going to drop back a folder and go into English Metric, because I prefer Metric, and then I'm going to just select this Metric Baluster. Open it up, and this is what you get. So this is basically for the railing, and these angular reference planes are when you have your railing on a staircase or any curved surface for that matter. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to create an extrusion, so solid extrusion, and for the work plane, you just find here, you can see this is in a left elevation. So that means we're looking at a plane that's center left right, and we're going to be modeling on that plane. So select that one and hit OK. And then I'm just going to place one rectangle like so and lock it in place here, lock it in place here, and actually I'm going to delete this line, I don't need it. And then for this dimension, so from the center line all the way to the outside, I'm going to put in 50 millimeters or 5 centimeters, and that means in total that's 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters. And then I'm just going to do a 45 degree kind of an angular line like this, and let's just trim and extend this in place. So now just by using the align tool I'm going to align all of these points over here 
and also I'm going to create a dimension so just di is the shortcut and just lock this in place to have that point and here for the extrusion end for the thickness of my railing I want it to be 20 millimeters or 2 centimeters I think that's all right so I'm just going to place that and one more thing material I like to have some white wood or some light wood material so I'm just going to type in wood and here I'm going to search for something that's kind of lighter so yeah maybe go with this maple yeah that looks nice so just go apply so we selected the material and let's just go finish and if we go into 3D it looks like this so it looks quite nice I like it and then I'm just going to load it into project next thing I'm going to go here to file new family and let's create a profile family for those railing profiles so just search your profile rail okay this is the one that we're going to be using and just go open up but I almost selected the imperial one so I don't want that one I want the metric one and I know this might be annoying for my American viewers but sorry I just I just never work with imperial units so I'm just going to go here metric profile rail open that up and here I'm just going to go line and create a rectangle over here and for this thickness I'm going to go with 20 millimeters as well or 2 centimeters and for this height I'm going to go with 50 and here the total should be 100 okay so once this is finished load it into project as well go project 1 okay and then let's go into 3d and now let's select this railing now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making changes along the way and we're actually going to be seeing everything in this railing over here so let me just zoom in like so and let's just go or maybe like this on the center part and let's go into edit type so I'm going to move this over here and now you have here in the railing I need to duplicate it to create new railing of course and let's just call this goat fence finish okay so first let's do the baluster placement so the balusters are these vertical fence elements so I'm going to select that and here you have this name you've got the baluster family so I'm going to be opening this drop menu and select family one that's the one we created and do the same thing over here so family one family one and family one and the difference between this table over here and this table over here this is the main pattern those are these and these are the posts so I'm just going to be using the same family for both the post and for the main pattern so I'm just going to leave it at that and for the host I'm just going to place this base so it's hosted by base and for the base and the, for the top constraint so this is the bottom constraint is host and for the top constraint I'm just going to go host and I'm going to give it an offset of one meter because I want the fence to be one meter high and the distance from the previous vertical element or baluster is going to be 25 centimeters so I'm just going to type in 0.25 and here for this spaces these are basically the spaces at the end this should be just half of this and I'm just going to place it at that okay so I'm just going to hit OK over here and also over here I forgot so here for the top we need to go host 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 and for the top offset do one so just make sure that all of the numbers you have over here are over here as well so I'm just going to hit here OK and hit OK and let's see has that changed yes it has so you, you see we have this fence but we need to change these railings over here these horizontal elements there are too many of them so I'm just going to select this go edit type so again here you go into uh, 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 top railing so the top railing that's this one over here we don't need that one so I'm just going to hit uncheck it and you can see it disappeared and now I'm going to keep the bottom one and this one over here and I don't need these two horizontal elements so to do that you go here to railing structure and you open it up so the first one I'm keeping the second and the third one I'm going to be deleting so delete this one delete this one and this one I can keep it at 0.7 and this one I'm just going to keep it at 0.15 I think it should be a bit higher and for the profile I'm going to change it to my profile that I created which is family 2 
and the same thing for the second one. And for the material, I'm going to be using the same wood material, and then I can just control C, control V this in place over here. Go apply, OK, apply, OK, and this is what we get. So we have created our cool looking fence and our goats won't escape. Okay, so this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.